Free Tough is the story of two girls uh, living in Malibu at opposite ends of the popularity spectrum. Typical sibling rivalry, like her parents care more about her sister, her sister's prettier, her sister's smarter, her sister's more popular. Krista, do I look like a goalpost? You should really look where you're going. Well, you should really watch where you're kicking. Krista, who's the older sister, is the much more popular one, and Charlie, who's younger, is kind of like the brooding, adolescent, teen angst-filled younger sister. Reagan and Charlie used to be best friends, but Reagan decides she wants to be popular and just completely disses Charlie on the way up. You're not normal, Charlie. <laughs> Face it, you don't fit in. They are working out their issues on the field with the help of my character, who basically is a really great, very structured and firm soccer coach. She sees them throwing it down the tubes because of their arguing and their rivalry. What part of mine don't you understand? Oh, that sucks. What good does that do us? You let the whole team down. Krista has a definitely complicated love life. She's become a popular girl at school, which means that she has to date the most popular guy, obviously. Cam comes from a very privileged background. He's the richest kid in school. He's the hottest kid in school, of course. And uh, uh, he is accustomed to getting what he wants. He's been putting a lot of pressure on Krista to take the relationship to the next step. And she isn't there yet. She's not ready for that. Wait, I'm gonna be late for practice. Come on, you are that team. Exactly, which is why I'm not gonna let Charlie steal my spotlight on his bike. We have an assistant coach character named Noah who is, is definitely more her speed. I thought you were off being a big soccer star in Spain or Europe or somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, Spain or somewhere, but not after two ACL surgeries. Marty Reese, she asked me to assistant coach the girls' soccer team but there's obviously a barrier because he is her coach and she is dating somebody else, so things get complicated quickly once he shows up on the scene. He would just be a, a, a good person to have in her life as an opposite of sex, you know, to, uh, to, to just really, to really just, you know, be a good mate to her. I drive a brand new Nissan Z. Uh, I'm not some loser who blew out his knee while trying to play for Barcelona. Um, I don't know, I feel like my case speaks for itself. Cam's got his mind in one place and that's kind of the gutter. I think that the dynamics that exist in a sports team are representative of the dynamics that exist in real life. And I think as a teenager, you're trying to figure out your place in the world and what those dynamics are. So watching these girls figuring out um, how to be team players is, is about watching them figuring out how to be people in the world, how to grow up into adults. Well, I mean, I think the cool thing about this story is that the sports, like the surfing and the soccer, actually enhance the emotional arc of the story. So the characters, what they're going through is heightened and reflected in the sports sequences. So we basically get the chance to explore what they're going through on the field. The girls can be very, very competitive. And being in like a team sport environment, it really teaches you to get along with other people and get along with other girls in a more friendly way rather than just a social, clicky kind of way. Adelaide and I met at the soccer callback. So that was where we were all kind of getting tested to make sure we weren't lying about the fact that we could play soccer. I've been going out on the field and just trying to, you know, keep limber and, uh, you know, keep those, those types of um, moves available, you know, try to do tricks and uh, watch a lot of YouTube. We've had some, uh, some training sessions and I was like, what the heck, I'm out of shape. <laughs> but then we, we, we started going some more and the cast is great, so it's, it's a great team in general. All right, okay, now let's go, here we go. All right, we're in a penalty situation, all right? <clears throat> We're gonna be having. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm miswording this. It, they're in a penalty situation, so we're gonna have five people on it. On the cast is awesome. I, I pinch myself that we got such a cool cast, and they all sort of dove into this head first. I met everyone at the table read, um, and they were they were awesome. I mean, it's always nerve wracking going into a table read and like meeting everyone for the first time because you know you're about to be working with them for the next several weeks. It's a good team. I really enjoy playing the mean girl role because I usually play the very nice, sweet, innocent girl role, so it's been really fun. I always feel bad that my character is so mean to some of the girls. I feel bad, but it's fun. <laughs> it's good. It's intense, 
or like pounding it all out, but I love it. I'm definitely the type of person on set who wants to be busy the entire time, so for me, it's been great. We like each other? Oh. <laughs> there you go, that's great. You're gonna be so excited to find out what happens soccer-wise in the championship game and are they gonna get there, as well as wanting to know well, what's going to happen between all the characters and their relationships as well. Between everything, I think it's just gonna be really juicy and fun to watch. It's gonna be a good show.